What is up you guys, Bolt298, in this video we are going to be talking about Modern Warfare 3 Zombies, Hellhounds coming back, Blood Money being our money to use, and Pack-a-Punching Weapons is no longer here, what? That's right guys, we have tons to talk about and let's get right into it, but before we do, make sure you smash that sub button, it only takes 2 seconds, we have 94.8% of you guys not subscribed, make sure you hit it, if you decided not to hit it this visit, let me know down below some feedback on how to change it so I can change your mind next time you come to the channel. Anyways, let's get straight into it, first of all we're going to be talking about the Zombies PvE system, apparently there's going to be squads of 4, max 6 squads per game, 24 players total, you'll be playing with zombies and AI enemies only, there's a 60 minute match timer max, Arethium ga gas that will slowly move in. You are forced to enter high threat zones or exfil, meaning gas is constantly going to be moving you just like in Warzone and other battle royales. You have to keep moving into higher threat zones or you can be exfilled out with whatever loot you have currently. So apparently, there's going to be zombies AI. Yes, this is harvesting. Uh, Ethereum story related they will shoot the player and zombies there's less human AI as you get closer to inner map zone but you can fight zombies AI or both to gear up so basically DMZ NPC warfighters that you fight now will be in the zombies DMZ experience and you can fight them or you can not you can just fight zombies if you want but they will drop loot and gear for you to use as you exfil and move closer zombies essence is a new thing that they're bringing basically the point system is to be essence instead of blood money um, you can use it or get it from killing zombies, doing contracts, looting, or other special activities around the map. You can use this currency on buy station, wall buys, perks, plus more, including Pack-A-Punch. Even though the Pack-A-Punch is not stated in this tweet, we do believe it is coming, but we are not 100% sure. This could be the first Call of Duty zombies we see without Pack-A-Punch since it was introduced. Let me know what you guys think about that below, uh, because that's very controversial. Now we move over to the low threat and high threat zombie modes. We talked about this a brief second about when AIs aren't going to be in your higher threat. Low threat is where you spawn. You have weak zombies and they give you time to loot. Your higher threat areas is going to be closer to the middle. The harder it gets, stronger zombies and there are even elite zombies. What are elite zombies? Elite zombies are meant to be our more boss related zombies slash heavier armored zombies. Yes, they're going to be armored zombies in this and you obviously have the bosses, the mimic, the mangler, the panzer sold at, the Cranzy sold at and the Hellhound will be in the zombie experience. And what do you think is going to be in that middle? These bosses, the Hellhound, the Panzer, all these guys are going to be in there. We've even seen glimpse of the one boss being in there through their release of zombies. Whenever they first said anything about zombies, we saw the mimic there. So that was super cool. And we know that there's going to be bosses. Now we move over to extraction base. What does this mean? This means you can exfil to keep your upgrades, pack punch weapons, perks, equipment, and more. Meaning they're probably going to do DMZ like things where they have like rare guns where you have to kill someone to get a gun and then you have to exfil successfully with that weapon. Sort of what they did with the chemist and the M13. This is the best way to do, I think, get people playing this mode. I mean, obviously, people are already going to be playing it because it is zombies. But I do think having these extra free rewards that you can go in and get will just make it more interactive beyond the community. Let me know down below, guys, if you enjoy that or if you think they should strictly make the rewards based off, like, doing missions on the map instead of side missions where you got to kill a certain person. Or do you think they shouldn't even do that at all and they should strictly leave it to x with Pack-A-Punch weapons, uh, you know, wall buys. And stuff like that down below guys i want to hear all your information i want to hear everything you have to see about or heard about this if you think things that i made uh comments about in this video complicated things let me know if you think things that i said in this video made things more clear let me know also remember to drop a like subscribe share the video if you think it would deserve one and i will see you in the next one peace out guys and have a great day